Hi, hey, welcome to starting your own business from scratch. Now before, you know, you're going to start a business, ask yourself, why do I want to start a business? And you know, the reason most people want to start a business is because they want this. They want a boat, they want to live near the harbour in a beautiful spot like where we are here in Sydney Harbour. And all that stuff costs money. And of course, a business is a vehicle for you to create wealth. The reason most people don't succeed in business though is because they make some basic mistakes. And facts are that most businesses fail. So whilst you start with a dream, you end up with a nightmare. And so what this is about is actually teaching you the steps to get you to your goals and having a successful business. And you know, in business, the most important part is that you got to get customers. And most people never think about the customer part as it's usually the last thing they actually think about. In a business, the most logical thing is to first of all start out by thinking, who am I going to sell to? Who's going to be my market that I'm going to make money from? You know, it's like if you want to open up a restaurant, the smart thing would be to actually go to someone who already has a restaurant and try and make them become successful. And if you can do it with somebody else's business, then you get your own business. Don't just jump into something and spend a lot of money and then find out that it was harder than what you thought and you don't have the capital and you go under. And most businesses are actually a trap as well. The type of businesses that I've always liked to start is ones that don't need any staff, are easy to do, right, and don't require a lot of overhead and especially fixed overheads because fixed overheads are going to kill you. So step one is, you know, get some customers. How are you going to get customers? Make sure there's a market for what you're selling. Step two is become very, very clear as to what advantages your product and your business has over everybody else and what benefits the customers are going to get from you. So why should I buy from you rather than from everybody else? So that's really important, understanding what it is about your product, your business, your company that is unique so that I want to buy it from you rather than from all the other people that are out there. And by the way, if you're going to have a business, there's always going to be competition. Competition is good. What you've got to make sure is that you're better than anybody else, that you're smarter than anybody else, that you're a better marketer, that you can sell your products and services better than anybody else in the market. Not how many people are there in the marketplace. It's like real estate agents, they're everywhere. Some agents make a million dollars a year and others make nothing. The difference is not the industry they're in, it's the person and their skill levels and how they run their business. So you've got to make sure that you're going to be the best at what you do. The second thing you have to do is you have to make a very specific, clear and measurable goal. How much money do you actually want to make? Right? What is your business going to look like when it's all finished? Are you going to sell out? Are you going to keep it? Are you going to franchise? Are you going to license it? So start with the end goal in mind. So that's step two. Step three is make sure that you actually measure and, and monitor what you do as you're doing stuff. A lot of stuff you do in business don't work. A lot of marketing doesn't work. But as long as you measure it, then you know what's working, what's not working. You can actually get rid of all the stuff that doesn't work and keep doing the things that actually do keep working. The fourth step is you've got to identify who your target market is. So who are the people you're going to sell to, where you're going to find them. Now, obviously, just because you know who your customers are, they don't know who you are. So then the step five is you've got to figure out a strategy to get them to actually come into your business, contact you, you know, get, on, get onto your website. So phone your business, walk in. So you've got to figure out how am I going to generate interest from my target market for my product or service. And that could be you know, that they phone your business, they walk in if it's a retail shop, they log on to your website if it's an online business. So depending on the type of business you have, depends how they will first contact you. Now just because they contact you, of course, doesn't mean that they're your customer, that you're going to sell them anything. So the next step is that you get to figure out how am I going to sell that customer? How am I going to convert the inquiry into a sale? And, and you know, we talk about on our radio modules, we teach you about you know, how to write headlines, how to make the right offers. So you've got to come up with the right offer, the right you know, headline, the right web banners, whatever you're using, you know, the, the right approach. So once you've got them, they're calling you, you've got to be able to sell them. And of course, you also want to maximize every sale that you make. You know how in McDonald's you go in and they say, would you like some coffee, would you like some french fries with that? Well, you've got to do the same thing in your business. Whether it's online, whether it's a physical business, your staff, you know, your, uh, your, your, your business has to be geared up to maximize every transaction with every client that you have. And of course, after you get the client, you have got to have a system for making sure that you communicate with them so they want to keep coming back and do business with you over and over again and setting your referrals, testimonials, and basically spreading the good word about you and your business. And that creates a winning cycle 
that your business will keep growing and succeeding. Those are the tips for starting a home-based business. I hope it's been helpful and helpful. Make sure that you click on the, the link below and I'll see you on the other side.